My name is Stuart Weiler, and I'm speaking to you from Elite Digital Enterprise, which is a division of the Elite Aerospace Group, a PTC partner, and here to help you with Creo. And today, I'm going to show you how to assign a Creo license when you are using a licensed server. So this would be when you have a floating license. It's hosted on a server, and I have Creo installed. I just need to add that licensed server to my session of Creo. In order to do so, you just need to launch the reconfigure tool, or if you have the install process running, it'll also be the same process when you're doing the initial install. But to run the reconfigure tool, you wanna to browse to your C drive, and then program files, PTC, and then choose the version of Creo that you're gonna be using. You can see I do have multiple versions of Creo installed, and that's not a problem. You can have multiple versions, they won't be an issue. You will need to assign the license for each of them. I'll show you for Creo 7.0.0.0, or 7.0. Then browse to the parametric folder, and then the bin folder, and you'll see a tool called reconfigure. You want to launch that tool. When the tool launches, you can click Next, and you'll see Licenses. I currently have a license server assigned, but I'm going to remove that and then add again. So in order to remove a license server, you just click on the minus, and you can see now I don't have a source here anymore. To assign a license server, you just need to type in the address. First, you're going to need to put the port number, which is typically 7788, and then at sign. If you're company has set up a different port, it might be a different number, but the standard is 7788. And then you can put the server either IP address or the name of the server. In our case, I'm going to use the IP address. Once you type it in, just click in the box. And you can see now it's been verified and the status shows as available. In order to finish the process, just click on next. And next. And finally, you'll finish by clicking install. Hope this helps with assigning a floating license. And in a separate video, you'll see how to assign a locked license as well.